Welcome back to This Is Living You Guys. If you could like this video, subscribe to my channel. It would be amazing. I want to show you guys, we just got some new merch in for This Is Living. We got the new This Is Living Tiger t-shirts. I'm wearing the black one. There's a white one, same thing. Purple tigers. And then we also just picked up some gray hoodies. Pretty sick. And some gray t-shirts. Also, everything else that's on the website, the black stuff, not the white stuff, but like the black hoodies and the black t-shirts, and that are all back in stock. They were gone for a couple months, but they're back just in time for Christmas. And yeah, check them out. The link is in the description of this video. Thank you for the support. Living tea. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm a little bit hungover, so keep the talking to a minimal. I'm just gonna go surf right now. It look, it's going off. It looks like Indonesia. Four guys out at Rocky Point. Six foot Rocky Point. But it is very strange. It's weird. I wish I knew. Because it went on shore and the rip started breaking straight out over here. I don't know what just happened out there. That was like the gnarliest Rockies rip all of a sudden. Ever. Yeah. Rip from like the sickest waves I've ever seen out there. Yeah. To the most ripped out it's ever been. Yeah. 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 I have no idea. Uh -huh. Okay. Hold up. Alright. We'll see you later. Have fun. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you. I, dude, I literally went up in liters. What the fuck? <laughs> hey, <for you> <laughs> oh, no, sorry, I went up in liters. I was riding 26 liters forever. And then now, I this is a 30 liter. 30 liters. 510. I'm 165. I love it. I absolutely love it. I, yeah, thank you. Well, ever since my surgery, I can now move my head. So, because I was so, I had to move like this everywhere, but now I can look, so it's like crazy. Yeah, and I'm just like guessing on my timing. Like, oh, okay, I hope it's good. What happened? I don't know. What happened? Best right, waves boys. ever to worst waves we'll ever. See ya. That was really the craziest transition for a while. Wild man. Wild times. I know. It was so fun. Interesting haze, color, clouds, brightness. Eye squinting, hard to see. I don't know. <laughs> I live my life a quarter month at a time every Wednesday. Four Wednesdays a month. We're running out of things to talk about, Jack. Surfing. Should we just cut to the surfing? Cut to the surfing. Let's just cut to the surfing. Check my new, wait, that's what I said. <laughs> Check my new Quicksilver shorts out. They're pretty sick, huh? I like them. They just sound to me. I'm gonna go ripping them. More pipe on the way. Warm up session right here. And then, Pipeline's gonna be on, again, non-stop. Possibly an outer reef swell as well. I love winter. I don't ever want it to leave. Bye. Like this video, subscribe to my channel. short review they're insane no rash very comfortable fit perfectly yeah my surfboard felt a little big for that session I'm not gonna lie but I almost are broke my legs went to full splits ultimate surfer Mason Barnes almost breaks his legs does the splits some funny comments about you in the last video Really? Have you guys seen that? <laughs> what they said? They said you're like a crackhead. <laughs> you look like a crackhead. Wait, is my hair in it? 
No, this and is they said before him. Jason's flexing his five cap. <laughs> and he looks like a crackhead. Did you see that, Jack? That's not. I'll say it to my face. <laughs> Great. <laughs> we have another funny comment about Mason. My favorite oh my. reads. Lulu, look at Lulu. <laughs> She's a very sweet dog. A lot of people have been wondering about my surfboard quiver, winter quiver, whatever you want to call it, call it, <laughs> whatever you want to call it, but I'm going to break down all my surfboards right now and show you what I have for this winter. And I've just redone my office, that's why it's all messy, but I've done that, so, so my boards are in two places now. My new boards go inside the house and then I'll sticker them up and put pads on them because the reason I moved the new ones in here is because I ran out of space on my racks outside but this is my new designs 80 sprays from Pizel surfboards and this one's I ran out of stickers so I gotta get more stickers that's why those aren't set up yet but tell me what you think about these I think this one is my favorite I'll show you all of them but I'm pretty sure this one's my favorite can you see the whole thing This is a this is a six six. This is also a six six. Damn, you don't have much space there, huh? No, but I'm good. Cool. They're insane. These are the, I think these are the best sprays I've ever had. And then here, there's one more you guys didn't see. This is a six four. Whoops. Yes, six four. And then. This first board is a 6 2. You guys seen it? And then, and then, and then, and then. How many times have I said, and then? I'm gonna stop doing that. A couple more new boards, prototypes, thicker, wider pipe boards, and I'm not sure how I feel about them, but there's only one way to find out how you actually feel about them, and that is by trying them. So, yeah, there's not all my new boards are in here yet, but. I'm gonna go grab them from outside and put them in here. Second part, the surfboard tour. Here, we have my guns for big, massive waves, like the eddy or the jaws event, or just some random big swells. We got another one up here. This might be my favorite spray out of my big surfboards. I don't know if you can see it, but it's got the black and purple paintbrush. Really cool. Um, How big are those? So these all range from about, there's a couple 10 floors down here that I'll never use again. I'll probably get rid of them. But from what I use, there's about, it's about 10-0 to 8-6 or 8-0. That's all over here. And then here we have, here, here's some of the new boards that haven't made it inside yet. But we got my short boards. These are all epoxies, my pipe boards. 6-4, 6-2, epoxy. My older surfboards are for backup in case I break all of them, which is very possible. And yeah, it's kind of a couple toe, toe boards back there. E-bike right here, fins, wax. And that's it, that's my quiver. I've been really digging the epoxies, especially the pipe boards. It's a little funky, or it was a questionable call to start using epoxies out of pipe just because they are so light, but they honestly work really well. Actually, I used a brand new normal poly board and they felt kind of the same, so I'm not sure how I feel about that. Just gotta keep trying them. But yeah, that is my surfboard, breakdown, quiver. If you have any other questions, leave a comment, let me know and I'll be sure to answer them. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Check this out. I will never be out of wax again. Thanks to Dewey Wax. <laughs> There's about a hundred bars in here. 
You've always been had a wax sponsor? I've always had a wax sponsor, I've just never had wax. But now I have a sponsor and I have wax.